Well, during Halloween, there's a lot of talk about spirits, but it doesn't always have to be scary. Yeah, some people believe that at times, spirits from the other side are sending us signs. And joining us now to talk more about this is fourth generation psychic medium, Linda Lauren. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. Right, so first question out of the gate, explain to people what you mean when you say the other side. Yeah, the other side actually goes back to um, the 1800s and spiritualism. That is how they defined you're on this side and those who passed, well, they went to another side and that became the other side. And over the years, it just stuck. Okay. So basically what it means literally is that you've gone somewhere else, you've passed away. Hmm. Okay, so what are some signs that we can look out for? And if it's someone from the other side, does it have to be someone that we knew in our life? You know, it doesn't have to, but it certainly family and friends will come through. You can, I mean, some people when they lose a, a parent, they may see a cardinal, mm -hmm. might uh, a light on a windowsill, or they might see them by the house. Uh, music, uh, pennies. I mean, I find pennies that have my mother's birth date on it oh, wow. and all the time. And I'm, you know, it was especially after she passed. Um, there's also uh, feathers that's very big. Feathers just seem to appear. Now I'm talking about feathers where there aren't any feathers. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, no birds around at that time. Um, music for me is big, but I've also received signs even recently from people who have passed away that I was very close to through emails, mm. through messenger. It's I'll think of that person. And I did that at one point. I thought of a person, a friend, I missed her dearly. And I said, I miss you very much. And that night, I heard a bing on my notifications, and I went into my notifications, and there she was saying, I miss you oh. too, Linda, oh. and life is oh. but a dream. I'm getting it's chills. <laughs> I mean, so signs really come in all different uh, forms, all different fashion. Now, yes. if someone feels, if you feel like a loved one is trying to reach out to you, how should you receive it? What should you do? You know, you know meditation is really important. Going within, being silent, breathing, just being at one even with nature, but being quiet is how you receive signs. You just have to be open to them. And the biggest thing you can do is to keep a journal. Mm -hmm. Journals I have always been a fan of because you don't always remember what's happening at the time and all of your senses will awaken up. I do that often when I dream. I keep a journal by my bedside. So yes. When I wake up from dreams, I write things down. Okay. The dreams so, are another way yeah. that you can get the other side through in right. dream. So, Linda, how can we use our senses to make that connection for us? Be very aware of them. Be aware of your taste. Be aware of your sight of what you hear. And again, journals come in handy for this because journals will help us to define whether our senses are getting better or deeper or are they not as deep but you if once you start working with like scent and sight and uh, touch you begin to feel uh, the other side in a lot of different ways so everybody's different in how they receive it. They really are so very different. Some signs are overt, like the email, but then there are others not so overt. Are there any common signs from the other side that have particular meaning? Well, it's okay. The, um, animals, certain animals mm -hmm. would have uh, certain meanings. You would, I would look them up first, but there's always dogs, wolves, cats. If they come through, then perhaps that is something that you have to delve deeper within you. That's a common sign. Um, pennies, like I said, are big and feathers. Those are common signs. People see them more often than not. So Linda also, when she, this is for Shirley's first time meeting you, she uh, reads our colors. Is Shirley giving off any oh. particular color? Like an Yes, aura? actually she is. She's giving off like a lavender purple. Mm, that's and a lot of, of that has colors. to do, well, you need to work with the intuition right now. That's what that's saying. Everything is intuitive for you at this point in time. So purple, that, that family is, is with you. And you're wearing blue, which is really, really where you should be, mm -hmm. but it has a lot to do with writing, expressing mm -hmm. yourself. All right, well, fourth yep. generation psychic <laughs> medium, Linda Lauren, thank you so much for joining us. It's always a pleasure. 
Thank you for having me. God bless. All right. For more information on Linda or to buy her book, Medium Rare, go to lindalauren.com or follow her on Twitter at Linda Lauren. All right. Being intuitive. Yeah. I'm receiving all Perfect. of that.